Oh my goodness, I am super excited. It's go time. Oh my goodness, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome to my most, my biggest masterclass for 2023. I am super excited that you're here. As you can see, I am filled with energy. I brought the energy to share this with you. I am super excited. Let me know in the chat box who you are. Let me know your name. Let me know where you're tuning in from because I want to connect with you. So I'm using a really sophisticated uh, platform to host this masterclass. So in order for me to see your name, I would love for you to go to um, streamyard.com forward slash Facebook and give me permission to see your name. If you don't do this, I will see your comment, but I don't see your name. So I would love to see your name in the chat box. I see Lindy Cruz from Aruba. Lindy, you made it live. I am super excited that you are here. Let me know where you are tuning in from. Let me know in the comments because I am super, super excited to be here and to share my knowledge with you. I've got a lot of questions that I want to answer today. And one of the biggest questions that I receive is like, Stephen, how long is this masterclass? So let's start over there. The masterclass will take between 60 to 90 minutes, not more than that. And I am going to give you the replay right after. But here's the thing. I would love for you to stay with me. Give me 90 minutes of your time. You have 24 hours. Give me 90 minutes of your time. And I would love to give you everything, everything that I have learned to grow my business on Instagram. Whether you are a service-based or a product-based business owner, today I'm going to share with you the strategies that I am applying in my business that most successful entrepreneurs are applying in their business and the ones that my clients are applying in their business. And today I want to share this with you. So we have, uh, oh my goodness, there's so many people in the chat box. I love it. I love it. Gilito from, um, Gilito uh, Riley from Curacao. We have Geraldine from the Netherlands. We have Melanie from Curacao. I love my people from Curacao. Elia Maduro from Aruba. Shahira from Aruba. Taina from Aruba. Uh, Neha from Aruba. Carmen Sita from Curacao. Travis from Aruba. Danaili from the Netherlands. Farih Nalda from Aruba. Nicole. Nicole is also here from Aruba. Shanley. I am so excited to see you here. Diandra. Natalie. Lindy, oh my goodness, Natalie, hey, I see you, I see you. Um, Natalie, I love that you put your name. I cannot see your name though, so give me permission by going to streamyard.com forward slash Facebook, all right? I think we are ready to get started. Who is excited? Who is excited to get this party started? If you haven't, this is really important. If you haven't downloaded your workbook, this is important. Go to stephendecubo.com forward slash masterclass right now if you haven't received your workbook. The workbook is really, really important and you need this in order to follow this masterclass. All right, let's get this party started. Who's excited? Freddy, Freddy, you made it. Freddy from Aruba. I love it. I love that you're here. So I want to start today by letting you know that you are here because you have signed up for my free masterclass for business owners selling on Instagram. During this masterclass, I'm going to share with you all the things that I do in my business in order to grow a loyal audience of potential buyers so that I can increase sales in my business. And that is exactly what you are going to learn today in order to grow your business on Instagram. So as we are going throughout this training, I would love this training to be a conversation, not a presentation. What do I mean by that? That when I ask you, where are you from? You go and type it in the chat box and tell me, I'm from Aruba, I'm from the Netherlands, I'm from Curacao. I would love, hey, I'm in my home studio, I'm all alone. So, hey, let's talk with each other so I'll feel less alone, okay? Is that a deal? Do we have a deal? Cool. So, today you are going to learn how to sell on Instagram. And before we get started, maybe there's some of you that have no idea who, you, who I am. Maybe you're asking yourself, this guy has a lot of energy. I love his energy, but I have no idea who this guy is. I want to introduce myself to you. 
My name is Steven de Cuba. I am not from Cuba. I'm actually from Aruba. I was born and raised in Aruba. I'm a photographer. I'm a business strategist. And I am a podcast host and also the founder of the IPB membership and the Instagram Academy. The Instagram Academy is my online course, my biggest Instagram course for business owner. Whether you have a service-based or a product-based business, this, this um, online course will give you every single step in order for you to create content for your ideal customer. So how to attract a loyal audience of potential buyers and also how to turn those followers into paying customers. So that's the goal of the Instagram Academy. I actually want to share a result that one of the members of the Instagram Academy got. This is Milani that said, after learning all the strategies of the Instagram Academy, my account increased with 225 new followers and I even doubled my income. Not only that, for me personally, building a personal brand on Instagram has given me the opportunity to get featured in different online magazines like Thank You, The Perfect Wedding, The Knot, La Champanera, Festival Brides. So it gives me the opportunity to like put myself out there, even when I feel like, hey, I see a lot of people from Aruba. I don't know about you, but when I grew up, I used to tell myself that, oh, I'm from a really small island. We cannot do much. I, 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 I grew up in San Nicolas and I told myself that, well, I'm part of the minority. This is not possible for me. Well, guess what? In 2018, I was named one of the best wedding photographers in The Hague. And then by 2020, I was featured on national TV in the Netherlands, RT Alvir, and also here in Aruba, Tele Aruba. They featured me because of my work. Not because I'm special, not because I'm cute, not because I'm, I have a really nice hairdo or whatever. It's because I've built a personal brand. A personal brand has given me the opportunity to increase my brand awareness and sales conversion. I've worked with brands like Levi's, Moco Museum Amsterdam, and Zwani, Maggie Sultero, and many other international brands because I've built a personal brand. I like to say that the personal brand comes with a little bit of fame. I, I'm not here to make you famous. I'm here to make you profitable. But the fame comes with it. The reality is that if you want to build brand awareness, people are, will start to recognize you. You start getting invited to the TV, to podcasts. They feature you on magazines. This is what started to happen in my life. And I'm like, oh, my goodness, this is amazing. This is working. Oh, my goodness. But here's the thing. It doesn't matter if you have a lot of fame but your business is not converting. I don't care about the fame. I really don't. I honestly don't. What I care more is about my freedom. And if you are a business owner, let me go closer because this is a serious conversation. If you are someone that values your freedom, financial freedom, and time freedom, I want to tell you that this is also possible for you. I'm someone that got, uh, that I was born in Aruba in San Nicolas. I told myself I'm part of the minority and still I've made all of these things happen. So if you are someone that wants to grow your business on Instagram, you want to maybe one day quit your nine to five job and commit fully to your business. I want to tell you that this is possible. Look at me. If you're looking for proof that this is possible, let me be that person that you look throughout your internet, throughout your computer, throughout your phone, and you're going to look at me. And today you're going to tell yourself, you know what? I might not have it all figured out, but look at Steven. He made it happen. So if he can do it, I can do it too. Do we believe that? Because what you're going to notice during this masterclass today is that my approach is differently. It comes from the inside out. I don't care how cool your branding is. I don't care how cool your logo is. I don't care how awesome your website is. I believe the most important thing is how you think about yourself and what you believe about yourself and your business. My business mentor once told me that 
if you believe you can make it happen, you're right. And if you believe that you cannot make it happen, you're also right. So today, my question to you is, are you willing to give yourself today 90 minutes of your time to learn something that has the possibility to give you that freedom that you also want? Are you willing to give yourself the permission to test something new, something different, something? I'm getting the chills as I'm talking about this. I'm getting the chills because what I've noticed is that after the pandemic, so much has changed. Right now, we are on the internet. We are learning. We are growing together. What a blessing. What else is possible? Well, my friend, let me tell you. Everything was was going perfectly fine with my business until 2020. Because before then, I was only a photographer. I grew my wedding photography business. I went to the Netherlands. I got featured as one of the best wedding photographers in The Hague. And then 2020 happened. Like, who fell 2020? Come on. Like, I cannot be the only one. As the wedding photographer, if no one is getting married, that means that there's no events happening. If there's no events happening, I'm not getting paid. And if I'm not getting paid, who's going to pay the bills? Okay. So I was this close to giving up. I was this close to say, you know what? I lost my business. I lost my part-time job during that time. And I also lost my dream of building an online business. And I want to tell you a, a story about this because the reality is that when I, I lost everything, I applied for three vacancies because I told myself, well, I I don't know how long the pandemic is going to happen. So let me start looking for a nine to five job. I applied for three vacancies. One as a marketing strategist for a development company. Another one was for for a copywriter for another, another company. And I also applied as a product photographer for a supermarket. All of three denied me. They told me, you're not a good writer. They told me that you don't have enough experience yet as a marketing strategist. They told me that you're a good wedding photographer, but not a product photographer. And in that moment, I felt like the biggest fool ever. I was like, damn, I got denied three times. But in the same moment, I remember I just graduated. It was the moment that I needed to go to my university to get my business degree. I got my business degree. And then there was this professor that looked at me in my eye and she asked me, what are you going to do now? And then in that moment, I have like a really epiphany in my life that I told myself, you know what? I don't know if I'm going to even survive this pandemic. And one of my biggest goals is to build a business. So I don't want to be that 90-year-old guy that is going to look back at his life and ask myself or tell myself or even regret that I didn't do the things that I wanted to do. But then I also had a realization, like, who told you, Stephen, that you're going to be 90 years old? Who told you that you're going to be alive next month or next week or tomorrow? The reality is that we don't have it guaranteed. You don't have 25 years guaranteed. Heck, you don't have 25 seconds guaranteed. So if now is not the best time, then when? So the biggest decision that changed my life in 2020 was to go all in with my business. Despite all the odds um, stacked against me, despite what people would think about me, despite not having it all figured out. I told myself, if it's not now, then when? I remember that when I graduated for my business degree, they told me that I'm going to make around 30,000 euros per year. That was my salary, starting salary with the the experience that I have. And you want to know what happened? In 15 months, I've made over 100,000 euros. I've surpassed the six figure in my business. Not only that, I launched my first affiliate promote, which generated over $10,000 within a week. 
I collaborated with big names like James Wetmore and Justin Starr. And I have multiple streams of income. I am my own boss and I decide my own salary. This is not pure coincidence. This is not, oh, he's lucky. This is not, oh, he's a photographer. He has nice photos. No, my friend. This is the decision that I've made. I've made the decision that I am going to go all in. I am going to take that leap of faith. I am in control. I lead the way. I am the one. And today I want to share this with you as well. You are the one. You have everything that you need today to make it happen. My question to you is, are you willing to give whatever it takes to make it happen? That's my question to you, my friend. So um, I, I did all of this, but you probably are asking yourself, okay, but Stephen, how? <laughs> cool. It looks nice. I'm super proud of you. Hooray. But okay, how? <laughs> How did you do it? Well, the secret is that I've built a personal brand. I've built a personal brand on Instagram. And the reality is that building a personal brand on Instagram is the most effective way to build a loyal audience of potential buyers so you can increase brand awareness and sales conversion in your business. If you're multitasking, come back to me. This is important. Building a personal brand on Instagram is the most effective way to build a loyal audience of potential buyers so you can increase brand awareness and sales conversion in your business. And here's the market data analysis that I did for you. Instagram is one of the world's most used social media platforms with 2.5 billion monthly active users expected by 2023. So there's still, there's still opportunity on the platform. Not only that, Instagram statistics show that 80% of the users get help from Instagram um, when it comes to buying any product or services. And according to Instagram, 9 out of 10 of all Instagram users follow at least one business profile on the platform. And a survey commissioned by Facebook, um, they said that 83% um, um, of respondents surveyed said that Instagram, a visual first platform, helps them discover new products and services. I'm not going to bore you with more statistics, but the point of this slide right here is that I want to show you that there's still opportunity to grow your business on Instagram, even if you're just getting started, even if it's just an idea. But what you need, my friend, is the following. I want to show you how big entrepreneurs, what they are doing. I've made the research. I've started to closely look at all these, these entrepreneurs that have millions and hundreds of thousands of followers. And I started to look at what they are doing. People like Amy Porterfield, Jasmine Starr, Jasmine Star, Mel Robbins, and Gary Vaynerchuk. All these industry leaders have built a personal brand on Instagram and they are using the platform strategically to grow their business. So what they are doing, I've, I went really closely to look what they are doing. Number one, they are using their own personal brand as the main factor of growing their business. Every single entrepreneur that you see out there, the successful one, the ones that are living their best life, the ones that are making millions in their business, what they are doing, they are using their personal brand as the biggest pillar in their business. They are creating content on a consistent basis so that they can increase followers and make sales in their business. They are creating consistent content. If right now you're not making consistent content, there's, there's, a, there's a, a light bulb that should be going on right now. But what they're also doing, they have a strategic sales strategy on Instagram to make a bigger impact and increase revenue. 
what I've noticed is that these successful entrepreneurs, they have a strategy. They are not just showing up on Instagram. It's like, okay, let me see what I post today. They're just not going on Canva, creating a really nice design and then just post it and just hope people will buy. No, they have a strategy. And today I'm going to share exactly that strategy with you. But not only bigger people, like the ones that are famous, I want to show you people in the Instagram Academy, like Sacha that said, after joining the course, the content creation table, this is what I teach in module number three. She said that this really helped me. But most importantly, being able to identify who are my clients. Within four months, I got 215 new followers. Imagine today is September, October, November, December. Imagine in three months from now, Imagine where your business could be by the end of this year if you finally start applying a strategy in your business that guarantees a flow of high quality followers and sales conversion. Imagine having a system that you don't have to rely on family and friends and word of mouth to make sales. You are in control. How cool would that be? Take a look at Laura. She said, my biggest challenge was how to reach my target audience. After joining the program, I was reassured that my business is not for everyone, and that is okay. I have more insights of how the Instagram algorithm works, and I now have much more structure, strategy to work with. My friend, I want to show you that this is what bigger people are doing, but also entrepreneurs that are just starting out or that have already established their business. So this is also possible for you. And if you are here, there's a chance that you also want an easy and more effective way to increase sales on Instagram. But maybe you have no idea how to actually make it work for your business. Am I right to assume this? Let me know in the chat box. Just say yes if this is you. You want an easy and more effective way to increase sales on Instagram, but maybe you don't have it all figured out that's not a problem. You are in the right place. I see a couple of yes going on in the chat box. I love it. Beautiful. You are in the right place, my friend. So this is what happens with most people that are not making sales on Instagram. I like to call this the Instagram trap of entrepreneurs, which means you have an account, but you have no idea how to use it for sales. So if you have a business account or a personal account and you have no idea how to use it to make sales, you might be in the Instagram trap of entrepreneurs. This is how I like to call it. Let's see, let's see if you can identify yourself here. Number one, you know Instagram can work for your business, but you're not sure how to use it actually to make sales. Is this you? Put a number one in the chat box if this is you. Put a number two in the chat box if you're not sure what type of content to post. So maybe you're doubting between, okay, should I post an Instagram reel? Should I put a story? Should I put it in my feed? Do I have to go live? Like, do I have to show my face? Uh, what do I write in the caption? Like, maybe you have no idea exactly the balance or what to do first or the combination of all of them. And you're not increasing your followers with potential customers. If this is you, put a number two in the chat box. Number one or number two? Number three, put in the chat box if you have no time. Like, Stephen, I am a busy woman. I am a busy man. I have no time, no creativity, and no strategy to actually grow, grow your business on Instagram. But here's the thing. Deep inside, you still want to do it. You know that what, you know, you know, here's the thing. What I've learned is that time is something that is so valuable. Time is something that we can never get back. But what I have learned is that it's not about having time. It's about making time. Because the reality is that you make time for the things that are important for you. Just like I think a really simple example. If you need to go to the toilet and you're really busy, I'm pretty sure you don't have time, but you will make time to go to the toilet. 
So it's not about having time. It's about making time for the things that are important for you. So if growing your business on Instagram is important for you, then you don't need time. You make time. Mindset shift right here. Or number four, you feel overwhelmed with all the social media trends and you're not the best with technology. So which one are you? Number one, number two, number three, or number four? Which one are I, I see a lot of two. I see one, two. I see one, two, three. How about all of the above? <laughs> I love that. I think it's a combination between one and two. I see more one and two. One, two, three. One, two, three, and four. All of the above. No problemo. Good. Beautiful. Amazing. Guess what, my friend? You are in the right place. Because today, what we are going to do to fix this is we are going to apply a strategy, an Instagram marketing strategy that grows a loyal audience of potential buyers so you can increase sales in your business. But here's the thing. The reason why most people don't show up on Instagram is because they have one of the most common fears that show us a lot, which is the fear of failure. You want to do it. You know it works. You see other people doing it. But when it comes to you, you have that fear of failure. You have that fear or that little voice in your head that's telling you, but what if it doesn't work? But what if it fails? But what if you tell something new today and people just laugh at you? What if it doesn't work? Who's, who's resonating with this? Because let me tell you this, I have this fear as well. And the reality is that one of the biggest things that I have learned is that your fear will never go away. Your fear is there and the fear will always be there. When you were a kid, you had the fear of getting on the bike. Maybe as you grew up, you had a little bit of fear of getting your driving license. And today, maybe you also have that fear of starting your own business or promoting your business on Instagram. I want to tell you that that fear will never go away. In fact, that fear will show up differently every single time. So it's not a matter of getting rid of the fear. It's about mastering the fear. It's about understanding that fear is proof that you're doing something outside of your comfort zone. Fear is proof that you're doing something that makes you uncomfortable, but that means that you're growing. That means that you're not playing it safe. That means that you're doing something bigger. Who believes that? Who believe? I see one hand in the chat box, but who else? Have you ever felt this way? I want to tell you that that fear will never go away, but today I also want to ask you or give you a different perspective. Trying to avoid failure is just like going surfing and trying to avoid getting wet. It doesn't make sense because failure is part of the entrepreneurship journey. Failure is a process. And what if failure is the only path to success? If you're multitasking, come back to me. What if failure is the only path to success? What if you need to fail different times you need to fall down, get back up in order to get to your success. What would it take for you to create a new meaning around failure? What would it look like for you to look at failure and tell failure, you know what? I'm not afraid of you. You know what? You are the reason why I learn things every time. And then I stand back up and I will do it again. I will do it better. What if failure is the only path? to success. Melanie said, out of your comfort zone is where you'll find your growth. Fear is just a way to keep us small. I see all the hands going up. I love it. Another fear that um, appears a lot is the fear of opinions of other people. <laughs> what would other people tell, say about you? Let me tell you something. When we first started this masterclass, the first minute or the first 30 seconds of you looking at me, you already had an opinion about me. You either like this guy. Well, if you're still here, probably you still like me. You like what I teach. You like my energy. That's what you're here. Can I control that? No. Can I control what I think about myself? Yes. 
So I really don't care what you think about me, whether it's positive or negative, I care more about what I think about me. And most people don't want to show up on Instagram and put themselves out there because they are afraid of what people would say, say about them. Maybe it's your family member. Maybe, maybe it's a friend. Maybe it's a past colleague. Maybe it's a past boss. Maybe it's, I don't know, people like your past university um, classmates or, I don't know, high school classmates. You're afraid of what they would say about you. But let me tell you something, my friend. The fact is that there's someone out there that already has an opinion about you. Whether you are showing up on Instagram for your business or not, there's someone that already has an opinion about you. So why don't you just do the thing that makes you happy and money and let them have their opinion? This is what I've learned. People's opinion about me don't pay my bills. People's opinion about you don't pay your bills. Your business does. So how about you switch your perspective to the things that matters? And if they say ugly things about you, good. Ciao, ciao. Mwah. Blow kisses to the haters and let your success silence their doubt. Oh, let me repeat that for the people in the back. Let your success silence their doubt. Let them talk. Let them say whatever they want to say. Your results will shut them out. Okay. Because here's what I know. When you give your power away to fear, fear has power over you. So instead of saying, I should do this, I would do this, I could do this, Today, I want you to claim back your power and tell yourself, I did that. Okay. Because here's what I know. There are, there are people less qualified than you. They are doing the things that you want to do simply because they decided to believe in themselves. Decided is the key word right here. They've made the decision that I'm going to believe in myself. I'm going to go all in with myself. I'm going to take fully responsibility with my business. I'm the one. They've made the decision. And the reality is that I cannot make the decision for you. You have to do it. Someone dropped the mic. Okay. So today, you're going to learn how to grow your followers and sales on Instagram without posting every day. You're going to discover the four core ingredients that require to generate more sales on Instagram. Are we ready? This is where you take your workbook. This is where you put your workbook right next to you. You grab your pen and we get this party started. Okay, let's do it. So before we start with the first core ingredients, I just want you to know that this is the Instagram framework, the four core ingredients required. This is what I teach in the Instagram Academy. I'm just going to show you the different points that are important so you to understand, okay, this is what I need. Let's go start working on it. But it's your decision. But before we get with the first one, let me ask you this. Do you know any of these people in the, in, on the slide right now? What do they all have in common? I see Matt Robbins. I even see Ivo Yanis. He's an Aruban. Um, he's a different thing. MC, radio host. He has a, um, uh, a TV program. Like He's everywhere. Kim Kardashian, Tony Robbins, Oprah Winfrey. What do they all have in common? <clears throat> Excuse me. What do they all have in common? Talk back to me. I see Neha says they're self-made. What else? What do they all have in common? Well, my friend, what they all have in common is that they have a personal brand. The reality is that they, all of them, they have money, they have consistency, self-education, they are their own brand, they have a purpose, they are successful. Yep, all of them. 
But what do they all have in common? They have a personal brand. A brand that no matter, let's take, for example, Kim Kardashian. If you like her or if you hate her, that doesn't matter. The reality is that if Kim Kardashian releases a new product, people will buy. It is guaranteed that people will buy. If um, Gary Vaynerchuk launch a new book or Oprah Winfrey launch a new series or a documentary, people will buy. People will invest. Not because they're cute, not because they're handsome, not because they look amazing. No, because they've built a personal brand that is giving them the opportunity to grow their business. So what is the first, first core ingredient required to make sales on Instagram is to build your own personal brand. And what I see most struggling entrepreneurs make is that they focus first, oh, let me go create my website. Oh, well, let me go and create my logo. Oh, let me go and choose my branding colors only to realize that th those things are not important if you're just starting out. Do we build this later? Sure. At the beginning? No. Why? Because I don't want you to spend three or six or nine months of your business working on something that is not making you money immediately. Having a website will make you money immediately. How many websites are there on Google that are getting no visitors? How many, how many um, uh, businesses have you invested in because they had a cute logo or branding colors? Those things don't matter if you don't work on the branding and marketing first. The branding is what is going to help you have a lot of visitors on your website. The branding is what is going to make people recognize your logo. The branding is what is going to help you identify your branding colors. So it works together, but not the website logo or branding colors at the beginning. You see, the mistake that most entrepreneurs make on Instagram is that they focus 90% of their content on their offers and 10% of their content on building a brand. I believe it's the opposite. So let's take a look at what is the difference between your offer versus your branding. Because your offer, your offer is the one thing that you sell. So it could be your service or your product. The branding is that energy, is that experience, is that feeling behind your offer. So I like how Seth Golden describes a brand. A brand is a set of expectations, memories, stories, and relationships that taken together account for a consumer's decision to choose one product or service over another. In other words, my friend, your brand is an experience. It is an experience that you create online. It's an experience that you create on Instagram, on your story, on your videos, on your website. Everywhere you go, your brand represents you. So when you build a personal brand, it gives you different benefits. You stand out from your competition. You can offer different services and products. I'm a wedding photographer, but I'm also a coach. So I have different businesses. You become famous. You remember I show you the screenshots of different TV, podcast, magazine. It's part of it. And you enter a luxury market. So you can charge premium prices. Why? Because you're not competing on pricing anymore. If you don't have a personal brand, let's say you are a photographer and there are five different photographers all trying to compete on, look at my photo. My photo is nice. If you have a personal brand, you don't compete based on your photo is nice. You're the one. So that's beautiful. And that gives you the opportunity to charge premium prices. But you also build connections with your ideal customer, which results in easy sales. So the trust is really, really important as well. The connection, the relationship that you have with your audience. Now, 
what I believe is that building a personal brand on social media is the most effective way to stand out from your highly saturated market so you can reach more people, attract new leads, and convert more sales. It is proven. We have seen successful entrepreneurs grow their business to multiple figures because they have a strategy and a personal brand. A personal brand humanizes your business and this builds trust with your followers. I want you to really, really think about it. When was the last time that you buy, that you bought from someone that you didn't trust? It's like, hey, I don't trust you. Here's my money. You don't do that. So your audience won't do that with you either, which means that if you want to grow your business on Instagram, we need to focus on building trust. How do we do that? I'm going to teach you today. But let's identify if you could build a personal brand. If you are a service-based business owner, if you are a product-based business owner, if you want to do affiliate marketing, if you want to be a brand ambassador from different brands, if you want to coach, you want to do coaching or consultancy, maybe you want to launch your own online course, course or membership, maybe you want to host live events, maybe you want to host workshops, maybe you want to work, um, write a book, maybe you want to release a new clothing line. How do you do that? You do it by building a personal brand. So if you identify, identify yourself in one of these categories, you can also build a personal brand. Let's go to core ingredient number two. Core ingredient number two is your target audience. Your target audience is the person that you are going to create content for. So you attract them to your account. You attract them to your business. You build demand for your offer, and then you turn them into paying customer. But here's the biggest mistake that I see most people make. If you are marketing to everyone, you are marketing to no one. Most entrepreneurs believe, let's just sell this to anyone. Anyone can buy my product. Anyone can buy my business, my services. But just think about it. If you have a heart problem, do you go to a heart surgeon or do you go to a general practitioner? No, you will go to a heart surgeon because you want to make sure that you are with the best of the best and you have someone that is specialized in your specific problem. Same thing goes to your audience. You're not simple a photographer for everyone. You're not a wedding planner for everyone. You're not a coach for everyone. You're not a graphic designer for everyone. No. You have a target audience that when you speak to them directly, they will recognize themselves in your marketing. And that's how you build an audience of potential buyers. But how do you do that? How do you do that? We were going through that throughout this training. Now, the biggest mistake most people make is that you're not nurturing your audience. You're just posting whenever you are inspired. That's no bueno. Number two, you're talking about your offer, but you're not building demand for your offer. There's a difference between saying, book me now as your photographer versus building demand for your offer. And there are different ways that you can do it. So by the end of this masterclass, I'm going to do a Q&A session so we can talk more about it. But if, if you're right now hiding behind your logo, you're only doing trendy reels, or you're not posting at all, that's not a strategy. If you're consuming content, more content than you are creating, there's a mistake there. There's, there should be a light bulb going on right now. Okay, I see myself here. I'm not doing it the best way. No problemo. We're going to do it better now. Maybe you're not clear who you're speaking to. Your content is vague. Maybe you're just, I don't know, Google a really nice motivational quote, copy, paste. That's your caption. 
I know I've been there too. My first months of starting this hobby as a photographer, I was like, I don't know. I document moments. I freeze emotion. Okay, cool. But now what? You know, we, we get better as we go. Now, what I also see is that most people make the mistake of thinking that they need to grow their followers first. Kind of like, okay, Steven, I know that I can do it, but I need more followers first. Wait, wait, wait. Only my family and friends are following me, not potential customers. So let me grow the followers first. They believe that the more followers they have, the more sales they will going to make. But let me ask you this. What came first, the chicken or the egg? So did you grow a follower first and then you apply a strategy? Or do you apply a strategy so that you can grow an audience of potential buyers and then make more sales? It's kind of like, Stephen, I want to go to the gym to lose my body fat, my belly fat, let's put it that way. But um, I'm not ready yet. Let me lose 20 pounds and then I will go to the gym. It's like, no, you go to the gym in order for you to lose those 20 pounds. So it's not about having more followers. It's about having a strategy first. And it's not about more followers means more sales. Because if you don't have a strategy, well, what, what's the point? Here are some facts. Everyone started with zero followers. So you just might as well just get started. And even if you have 50 followers, imagine 50 people listening to you, to what you have to say. Imagine my little uh, home office right here, 50 people in here. That's a lot of people. And less followers means you have more opportunity to reach one-on-one -on -one to them and build a stronger relationship. But here's the thing. If your content is good, if you know what to post, people will share it, which means you can reach more people, which means you will grow your followers with potential customers. But if you don't have a strategy, more followers won't automatically fix your problems. Because thinking you need more followers is just like adding more water to a bucket that has holes in the bottom. It really doesn't matter how much more water you add if the system is broken. It doesn't matter how much followers you get on Instagram if you don't have a strategy to turn those followers into paying customers. But I want you to take a look at Katula Gardening, one of the members of my program. She said, we went from having about 400 followers on our Facebook page to now having 1,400. We increased our customer base by 10x as many customers. And we went from having eight clients to now 84. Plus, we landed four new contracts starting at 40,000 Aruban florins per year. And guess what? They only have, at that time, 75 followers. All right? So just take a look at what is also possible for you. Now, in the Instagram Academy, what I like to do is I want to give you everything to save time so you can already start showing up on Instagram with a strategy. So when you join the Instagram Academy, I'm going to give you a back of resources with different templates so that you can already start posting. Today is Thursday, by tomorrow or by tonight. So you get templates, you get hashtag bank, you have um, post ideas. I give you everything to make sure you can show up on Instagram with a strategy. Let's go to core ingredient number three. This is the triple C, consistent content creation. Are you guys still with me? Let me know in the chat box if you're still with me. Let me know if you're here. Let me know if you're getting it. Let me know if it's resonating with you. I know you're in the workbook writing. I love it. Let's keep this party going. Core ingredient number three, consistent content creation. Now, do you remember that time when Instagram was all about the perfect, beautiful feet? Like, oh my goodness, look at my life. I'm always at the beach. I'm always with a cocktail in my hand. I'm always looking at the sunset. We all knew that that isn't really reality. 
that's not real, right? It was mainly photo based. It was let's use all 30 hashtags. And it's all about me, 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 me. Look at me, look at me. I'm traveling. Look at me, beautiful photos. Look at me at the sunset. Look at me, cocktail in my hand. This used to work. It doesn't work anymore. So this is outdated. What the new way of using Instagram that is working right now we see Gary Vaynerchuk doing this. We see James, James Wadmore doing this. They are building three factors. This is important. Write this down in your workbook. The know, like, and trust factors. Those are the three most important factors that we focus on Instagram to build an audience of potential customers. The most important factor is trust. We talked about trust. Trust is really, really important so that the sale can happen. So we basically focus on these three things, trust being the most important thing. Okay, Stephen, but how? How often? How many posts? What type of posts? What is the consistency? I want you to know that consistency doesn't mean post every day. I don't believe that. I don't preach that. I don't say go post every day, three times on Monday. No, because the reality is that you might not have the time or the capacity to post every day. And that's okay. So post as much as you can with the capacity that you have. I'm doing this as a full-time job. Maybe you're working a nine to five job as well. Maybe you have hobbies. Maybe you have kids. Maybe you have a partner. Maybe you're traveling. Maybe your work requires a lot of your time. You don't have the time to post every single day. No problem. But can we choose one number and stick to it? Well, that could be really, really easy to do when you have a strategy. Because consistency on social media is just like going to the gym. If I go to the gym twice per week and you go to the gym seven times per week, who do you think is going to get faster to their results? You are, of course. But does it mean that I'm doing it the wrong way? No, it's just going to take me longer. Does it mean you're doing it the right way? Well, you're showing up more strategically. You're showing up more consistency. Maybe it will take you less time. But my question to you is, are you willing to give what it takes? Are you willing to go to the gym for that perfect body? Are you willing to put yourself on social media, on Instagram to grow your business? It's a choice. Now, the reason why most people are not consistent is because they have no idea what to post. They're not getting the engagement they want. They're making the results mean something about them. They don't have a strategy that inspire endless content ideas to post. And they are afraid of what people would think about them. They are afraid of the opinions of others. <laughs> Lenny said, thank God that way is outdated. <laughs> right? <laughs> Imagine living a life so perfectly. You, we all know that that's not the truth. Right? Now, this is important. In the Instagram Academy, we have the sales funnel. In order for us to get to all the way to the bottom where the sales happen, there are three other steps that needs to happen first. So I, um, I don't think this specifically um, triangle is in the workbook, but feel free to um, write it down yourself, paint it yourself, do it your own way. But what is really, really important here for us to understand how do we get to the sale? So let's reverse engineer. We start with the sale all the way to the bottom. Before the sale, people need to trust you. Your audience needs to trust you. Before they trust you, you need to build a relationship with them. We need, it doesn't mean that you're going to go on a date. <laughs> Imagine me going to the date with all my followers. I don't have that much time. But... We use content creation to build that relationship and that trust. And where does that start? 
with engagement. We start with creating content so we can get engagement. Our content will build relationship. Our relationship will build trust and trust would lead to sale. Now, you're probably th already thinking, oh my goodness, Stephen, this sounds like a really, really long thing to do. It's a lot of, uh, like, whoa, it sounds like a lot of time. Well, every, well, if you want to build a business that gives you the freedom, financial freedom, time freedom, well, we need to make some work, right? And I believe that Instagram is not a sprint, it's a marathon. Building a brand on Instagram is not a sprint. It won't happen in 30 minutes. It takes time. I started creating content on Instagram since 2014. You see me now. You see all the ads. You see all the photos. You see all the people raving and joining. I didn't start here. It's a marathon. Again, my question to you is, are you willing, excuse me, are you willing to give what it takes to make it happen. So let's do, let's get practical. There are three ways that you can foster engagement on Instagram. We're gonna start with the first part, the engagement part. Number one, what I want you to do is focus on CTA. What is CTA? This is call to action at the end of your captions. Basically, tell your audience what you want them to do after consuming your content. Let me give you five different ideas. You create a content, and by the end of the caption, you say, save this post for later. Double tap if you agree. Comment me for the link. Most of you joined this masterclass because I put in my caption, Comment masterclass and I will send you the link. I even said it on video. You remember this for the ones that saw the promotion? Comment masterclass and I will send you the link. I will DM you the link. Tag your BFF in the comments. Share this post in your story. Some of you also shared the, the template that I created. I'm in. And you tag me on Instagram. That's a form of telling your audience Here's what I want you to do once you consume this content. Take a photo of this, try it today, take a screenshot, write it down, start creating content and inspire your audience to take action. Now, there are new ways you can do it. I've seen bigger people like Amy Porterfield. They have thousands of followers. What I see her do in the comments, she said, comment 552 below and pop in your headphones to dive into this episode. So she's promoting a podcast episode. I went and I put 552 in the chat box, in the, in the comments. And then immediately she sent a, a, uh, a comment, just DM you. You're going to love this episode. I went into my DM and I got a, a text from her. Hey, so excited for you to dive into the podcast episode. Here's the link to join. I was like, oh my goodness, this is amazing. From one content, I engage, we build relationship. I trust her, boom. I started to build a stronger relationship with her via her podcast. This is beautiful. Now, you can do this, but you can also include video in your marketing strategy. This is also another way to build that trust that relationship to increase engagement with your audience so on instagram you can do different types of video marketing right you can do instagram story you can go live you can do instagram video you can do instagram reels there are different videos that you can create but right now according to instagram today users spend 20 percent of their time on instagram viewing reels they are most of their time on the, the real step. And here's the thing. We see it. Instagram right now, the reason why they are pushing reels is because they are competing with TikTok and YouTube shorts, which means that you have a lot of opportunity because they want to promote your reels, but you need a strategy to create reels the right way. But we've noticed things like the real step, 
You see right here. You see templates. They are encouraging people to go watch reels. Spend more time there. Here's a template. Use the template. They're making it easy for people to use it. Now, what I want you to avoid as a business owner is to only focus on trending reels. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm saying it should be a balance. Use trending reels, but focus more on your offer and your personal brand. Okay? So, I know. You already something. okay, what type of reels should I create? No problemo. Don't worry about that. Because when you join the Instagram Academy in module number four, I have a complete module with video marketing on Instagram. You're going to learn why the video marketing is the future and how you can get started. The three ways to use Instagram story for business and how to keep your audience engaged so you can increase that engagement. You're also going to learn how to use Instagram reels for business without dancing in front of the camera. I mean, it's cool. We can dance in front of the camera, but if that's not your cup of tea, no problem. You don't have to do it. I'm going to show you five different mistakes to avoid on video so that you can keep your audience engaged and the step-by-step -step process to go live on Instagram so you can build more of that trust with your audience. You're also going to learn how to create your first Instagram reel, how to add them on Instagram and outside of Instagram, and I will give you more tutorials on applying video marketing on Instagram. In fact, we also have a 14 days Instagram Reels challenge that will get started when you join the Instagram Academy. So the Instagram Academy, there's a complete challenge, 14 days with the goal to help you increase views, followers, engagement, and sales in 14 days. I will show you how I record, how I edit, how I post, what type of caption do I put, how to put text on the, on the screen and make it disappear. I will show you everything when you join the Instagram Academy. Let's go to number three. I want you to use the Instagram engagement tools on story to foster engagement. What is this? Well, do you know when you go to story, you slide up and you can see the different tools, like for example, the slider, which is over here, the poll, the question box, the direct message, countdown, quiz. There are different type of um, tools that you can use. And this is a way to encourage your audience to engage with you. So here are some examples. Um, when I go to weddings, I use it a lot, like a slider. Here are the bridesmaids' dresses. How was your day? I put a slider. This was like two days ago or yesterday. Um, I always went. I, I always knew I was meant for no, uh, for more. Do you believe you're meant for more? There's different polls. People can click. They can vote. Now, I want you to do it right now. I want you to take your phone right now. Take a photo of your laptop or your desktop or take a screenshot on your phone. I want you to go on Instagram story. Post this on your story and tag me at Steven Cuba so I can reshare it and more people can see it. But what I want you to do is use the poll and maybe you can ask, do you invest in education? And then you can put yes or no. This is just a way for you to start getting into the motion of creating content that encourages your audience to engage with you. All right? So go ahead and do that right now. But what I want you to know that what we are doing right now is we're just focusing on the engagement piece. When you join the Instagram Academy, we go deeper with the rest of them. But I don't have enough time today to give you all of the steps. I will give you some ideas so you can start implementing today and when you join the Instagram Academy, you can continue with the rest. But just don't take it from me. Take it from Rosalba that said, after joining the program, I got a clear vision of what to post, how to communicate in the DMs with the new followers, and I now have a strategy to make enough content in one batch. I have so much free time now. I love that. I got 100 followers in six weeks while starting from scratch. 
I reached 15,000 accounts with my reels and posts, and I got a one-on-one -on -one high ticket coaching client. Mic drop. Okay. I'm super proud of Rosalba. She's definitely one of the superstar students. But let's go to core ingredient number four. Okay. Core ingredient number four is your sales system. We're getting on the, at the end of this. The core ingredient number four is your sales system. One of the most important core ingredients required. I see notifications coming in of people tagging me on Instagram. I love it. Keep just uh, uh, during the whole um, masterclass, you can do it. Take a photo, put it in, in, your, in your story, put a poll, encourage your audience to engage with you. All right. All right. Core ingredient number four is your sales system. Let me ask you this. When was the, when was the last time you hosted a promotional campaign on Instagram with a strategy and i want you to talk be honest with me be honest when was the last time you hosted a promotional campaign on instagram with a strategy maybe it is like i've never done this before i honestly don't know how to do this i see a never thank you for being honest like when was it, was it the last time you did it if it's never, another light bulb moment should go on right now. Mm, too long ago. Okay. I love that. Because the reality is that the reason why most people are not making sales on Instagram is because they have never gave their, their audience a reason to buy from them. I see people, Freddy never did. I don't know how to do it. Not yet. Cool. That means you're in the right place. But that's the thing. The biggest mistake that I see most people make is that they don't create promotional campaigns on Instagram. I am going to show you how to do this. But the reason why most entrepreneurs don't make sales is because they haven't built no and like trust factors with your audience. Remember the three factors, no, like, and trust. You're not building demand for your offer. You have a content problem. So here's the thing. Maybe you are creating content, but your content is not getting enough engagement or even sales. You have a content problem. And this is something that we need to fix in order for us to make sales. Because imagine keep on doing the same thing over and over and over again, and it doesn't work. Well, you already have the proof that it doesn't work. We should be doing something different, right? And if you're throwing money at Facebook and Instagram ads without having a strategy, this is also what not to do. This is also a mistake. And you don't have a sales system. You see, I see a lot of entrepreneurs say, I'm just going to post. I'm just going to post. I'm just going to post. When, when it comes to selling, they don't ask for the sale. How do you expect people from, to buy from you if they don't even know how to do it? If you didn't give them a reason to do it. I want to share with you one of the methods that I teach my students to generate sales on Instagram. This is the TLC method. The TLC method is the traffic, leads, and conversion. So it is a process that your followers will go through in order to turn them into paying customers. It's a process. So we start with the traffic. The traffic is, for example, profile visits. They go on your Instagram. They discovered you. Huh, let me see what this person has to tell. They see your bio, your profile picture, your description. They take a look at what are things that you are posting. Traffic is also getting engagement. Comments, likes, shares, direct messages. This is where you already start creating that boss. You already start creating that relationship with your audience. It starts with traffic. From traffic, we move into leads. Leads are the people that, for example, they downloaded the lead magnet. 
Maybe you put a link in your bio. They click on the link. They went on your website. They look at your offers. They like it. Maybe they send you a DM and tell you, hey, I saw that you're selling X product. I want to learn more about it. Huh. Hmm. They show you a way or the order that they are interested. They schedule an appointment. They reach out for more information. They want the link to buy. They want to learn more about your offer. This is what we call a lead. Then the conversion piece is where we apply Excuse me, a strategic sales system, we use incentives, and we host a promotional campaign. This is where the magic happens. But the magic won't happen if you didn't start with the engagement, the relationship, the trust, and then get to the sale. It should work together. You see... In the Instagram Academy, I will take you through the Instagram Academy success span. And this will take you from a broke content creator, someone that creates content on Instagram but still are not making money, to a profitable content creator. So you're going to learn how to do content creation, how to increase demand for your offer, your audience growth strategy, your sales system, and that's how you become a profitable content creator. So in the Instagram Academy, I'm, just, I'm literally going to take you by the hand and I will walk you through all these four different phases. All right? But here's the thing. What I want you to know is that every successful entrepreneur has a sales strategy in their business. Show me one successful entrepreneur, one that is successful, that doesn't have a sales strategy. That doesn't make sense. There's no successful entrepreneur out there that doesn't have a sales strategy. Because here's the thing. Successful entrepreneurs know that it takes a strategy, a sales system, in order to turn their followers into paying customers. And that is exactly what I teach in the Instagram Academy as well. In module number two, you're going to learn how to convert your audience into paying customers. You're going to learn how to reach your ideal customer on Instagram. The Instagram conversion funnel completely explain the three phases of sales conversion, how to beat the Instagram algorithm for more engagement, and the three types of Instagram direct messages you should send to increase trust with your followers. Because this is what life could look like for you. This is Laura, uh, Laura uh, from Ras. She's a parent coach. She said that by following Steven's steps, I gained more than 120 followers on my page. My engagement is tripled what it used to be. The interaction with my followers is so amazing that I often cannot cope with my DMs. And then she sent me a message via WhatsApp and she said, Steven, Instagram Academy for the win. I got a one-on-one -on -one client through stories. This is a high ticket offer as well. The reality is that results and sales happen when you have a consistent content creation strategy and a sales system, all right? A sales system converts your audience into followers. A consistent content creation builds that follower. You see how they work together? Content creation builds audience. Sales system converts the audience. That's how results happen. So let's recap the four things that you need. You need a, a personal brand. You need a target audience. You need consistent content creation. And you need a sales system. Those are the four things that you need in order to build a business on Instagram. But here's how you can mess things up. You can mess things up by focusing only on <laughs> or too much. On perfectionism. It is not perfect, Stephen. It's not perfect. I say, well, 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 all the excuses. If you focus too much on perfectionism, you're going to delay your growth. Facts. Because the reality is that perfectionism is an illusion. Your version of 100% perfect is my version of maybe 20% perfect. And your version of 20% perfect might be my version of 50% perfect. 
100% perfect doesn't exist. So just lead with what you have and work with that and grow from there. I see a lot of entrepreneurs not taking action because they are waiting on the perfect time. They are waiting on credentials. They're waiting for permission. They're waiting for the perfect time. If there's something that I learned in 2020 with the pandemic is that it really doesn't matter what you think. It's a matter of what are you willing to give to make it happen. You can also mess things up by trying to copy what other people in your industry are doing. Stop looking at other people, focusing on yourself. Focus on your own ideas and your own creativity. That's what I want you to do. You can mess things up by wasting time, energy, and money on things that you just don't work. You already know it doesn't work. Why are you doing the same thing again? And not building the no like, and trust factors. Those are really, really important. And definitely, this won't work for you if you don't have a reliable and consistent strategy to attract high-quality followers that turns into clients for your business. It just won't work. Because the reality is that your audience needs to trust you before they buy from you. So how do you ever expect to grow a loyal audience of potential customers without building trust with your audience first? How do you expect to, to, to increase sales, to increase brand awareness if people don't trust you? It doesn't make sense. We need to focus on the trust. And here's what you've learned today. And this is one of the biggest things that I want you to take with you. Take a screenshot, write it down, Put it on your forehead. I don't care what you do. But what I want you to do is to really understand that building a personal brand on Instagram is the most effective way to build a loyal audience of potential buyers so you can increase brand awareness and sales conversion in your business. So let me ask you this. How do you actually build a personal brand on social media successfully? How do you build a loyal audience of potential customers on Instagram that are actually interested in your offer? How do you do that? How do you figure out what to post? How do you figure out what to say in the caption? How do you figure out, the most important part, how to turn those followers into happy paying customers? How do you do that, my friend? Well, it is an honor and a privilege to introduce to you the Instagram Academy. The Instagram Academy is the complete step-by-step -step system on building a personal brand on Instagram so you can increase a grow and uh, so you can grow a loyal audience of potential customers and increase sales in your business. What we've gone through today is the four core ingredients required to generate more sales on Instagram even if you don't have a lot of followers. It is the Instagram Academy framework, which is the personal brand, the target audience, consistent content creation, and your sales system. When you join the Instagram Academy, I'm gonna take you through five different modules. Modules about personal branding, about your sales strategy, about consistent content creation, about video marketing on Instagram, and also a brand new module on Instagram paid advertisement. If I would have sell, sell all of this separately, it will cost you around 700 euros, 697. But you're not going to pay that. In fact, you can get started today with one payment of 247 if this is what is in alignment for you. Or we also have payment plans, which is three payments of 88 euros. Every payment is 30 days apart from each other. Or there's a six monthly payments of 55 euros. Every payment plan, plan is 30 days apart from each other. But just imagine what could be possible for you when you apply a strategic system, a strategy on Instagram that guarantees a growth in loyal potential customers on Instagram.
Imagine what could be possible for you. Well, here's the thing. Apart from all the five different modules, you're also going to receive different bonuses. When you join the Instagram Academy, I'm going to give you a workshop totally for free. This is the workshop about how to write Instagram captions that converts your audience into paying customers. So I'm going to give you a training, but also 30 Instagram caption templates for business owners. You're going to get fill in the blank caption. I already wrote the caption for you. I just gave you a little bit blank option so you can put your own things in there. This is magic. Not only that, you're also going to get a mini course, how to create scroll stopping content on Canva, a complete gallery with different templates, but also tutorials on how to create content on Canva, even if you're not a professional graphic designer. I will show you how to, I'm not a graphic designer. I'm not. And I do most of my graphic designs. You're also going to receive a gallery of high quality photos for creative entrepreneurs. I normally charge around 400 euros to my clients for one of these galleries, but you're going to receive this totally for free when you join the Instagram Academy. Not only that, you're going to be part of the private community. We have a private community, just like a, a Facebook group like this one, but we have another one only for the members where you can ask your questions, get support and hold each other accountable. I'm also going to be active in the Facebook group to support you along the way. I'm going to hold your hand as you build your business on Instagram. Another new bonus that I'm giving you as when you join the Instagram Academy is seven faceless reels ideas for business owners that don't want to show their face. Okay. So if you're not comfortable on camera, no problem. I'm going to show you seven different reels ideas that you can create if you are camera shy or you don't know what to say or you just don't want to show your face yet. No problem. I'll show you how to do it. Bonus number six is the Reels Challenge. It's the 14 days Instagram Reels Challenge for more engagement, more reach, and more followers. I will show you how to brainstorm your content, how to plan, how to batch, how to edit, how to schedule your Reels for success, even if you're not comfortable in front of the camera. And we also have a guest speaker, which is Anna Katz, and she is going to teach you how to grow your followers and sales conversion with Facebook and Instagram ads. You've seen me create ads. I've done ads for years already. And her experience, she has spent over $5 million in ad spend. And she has generated over five times return on investment for her clients. She's here to show you how to optimize and scale every every phase of your sales system. You remember the traffic leads and conversion. She's going to show you step by step by step how to increase every single phase for a major impact. Cool. And another bonus that I have for you, which is really, really exciting. Actually, I'm really excited about this. This um, training is how to edit Instagram reels with captions, emojis, and sound effects. Let me play this video for you. How do you edit these type of captions in your videos totally for free? We've seen people like Gary Vaynerchuk use these type of captions in his videos. And now you're going to learn exactly how to do it. I am breaking down the complete process from using those subtitles, changing the colors, adding different sound effects, and even emojis. All you have to do is join the Instagram Academy today and let's get this party started. Basically, I will teach you how to do that. That video with a caption, with emojis, with sound effect, with camera tricks, I'll show you how to do it step by step by step. Cool? This is how life could look like for you. This is Crystal Brown. She said, before joining the program, I was, post I was posting randomly. I was struggling with what to post. I felt like I needed some help or guidance in regard to the type of post. I was spending too much time overthinking my post, which felt frustrating. And after joining the program, I now have the knowledge in regard to the types of posts that will appeal to my clients. And I have knowledge when it comes to posts to write or create when I am in launch mode, which makes me feel relief. Oh, I love that feeling. 
I'm in control. I'm excited about the result from my post and now and how I show up on Instagram. I am showing up more confidently in stories and I'm starting to slowly experiment with reels. This is a great investment. Totally, totally worth it. And here's the best part. When you join the Instagram Academy, you're going to get your investment is 100% backed by our 30 day show your work money back guarantee. Here's my promise. Hear it from me first. If you join, you apply everything that I teach you. And within 30 days, you don't get the results that you wanted. We go through everything that you did. And indeed, it didn't work. I will give you 100% of your money back. I believe in this program so much that I'm willing to give you your money back if it's not an alignment. Hear it from me first, all right? So there's no risk here. You can literally join today, stay for 25 days, apply everything, it didn't work, and you can ask your money back. Are you willing to give whatever it takes to make it happen? That's my question to you. Take a look at uh, Crystal. I, I, I messaged her and she said, Stephen, in my humble opinion, it's a great course and it's worth more than you're asking for. A great example of over-delivering indeed. Thank you for the valuable info for your course that has provided me with so far. Here's the best part. When you join the Instagram Academy, you have lifetime access to the course. So you can watch, watch it whenever you please. And in the future, if I put more updates, you're going to get all of them totally for free. So how does it work? You, get, you sign up, you get an email and your password. You will log in and here's where you will receive all of the trainings. It is go on yourself on your own um, pace. So you can do it in 30 days. You can do it in 30, not 30 minutes because there's more than that. But maybe in two weeks, you can start today and have it done by Sunday. I don't care how you're doing it. You can do it your own way. But just so you know, it's a platform. Just like a Netflix of Steven DePuba, you have your email, you have your password, you log in, and there's the Netflix, but instead of series, you get the trainings. Okay. <laughs> I love that. Now, for the people that already decided that they want to join, I'm giving you a special present. For the first 10 people that enrolled today, you will receive two extra masterclasses. Number one, Content into cash. This is a masterclass, a 60-minute masterclass where I show you how to turn your content into cash. Literally, my complete content creation strategy. You're also going to receive the Instagram sales funnel. This is a complete training where I walk you through step by step by step by step how to turn your followers into paying customers by applying excuse me, your Instagram sales funnel. This is normally, I will sell this at 222 euros, but for the first 10 people that enroll today, you will get it totally for free. So which one are you? Are you number one, the person that says, I'm going to take zero actions and, cons and consequently you get zero results or Olivia Pope, I hope there's some scandal fans in here. Take the phone. It is handled. You take fully responsibility and you do whatever it takes to make it happen. All you have to do is go to stephendecuba.com forward slash enroll. And this is where you can secure your spot in the Instagram Academy. You can choose the payment plans. You can pay in full. It doesn't matter how you pay. You will get everything immediately all right so stephendecuba.com forward slash enroll this is where i want you to be in order to secure your spot in the instagram academy all right so let me let me just show you another more uh, testimonial from uh, uh taina she said the instagram academy helped me increase my clients the community of the instagram academy supports you and give you their feedback whenever you post in the private group um, available in the program. And Steven, he's the best. He keeps you accountable, checks on you, and he is a, such a huge support system. He will make sure that no none of us that are part of the Instagram Academy 
fails or drops the ball. I am really grateful I made the decision in joining the program. Now I have the right tools to keep my business and content, business content relevant and consistent. This is what's also possible for you. So I want to say thank you. Thank you so much for taking the time, for investing the time in your knowledge, in your business, in your future. Thank you for being here. Thank you for giving me the trust and the time and the ability and the privilege to share my story with you and to show you what is possible for you. Today, you have a choice. Are you going to be the person that is going to look back and all the things that you've learned today and just say, you know what? Cool. I'm not going to do anything with this. Or are you going to be the person that is going to take fully responsibility? You're going to take the courage. You're going to make sure that it happens by giving all of you. What is it going to be? StephenDeCuba.com forward slash enroll. That is where you secure your spot. But if you want to connect with me, if you have any questions, you can drop it right now in the chat box. But I also want to connect with you. You will find me on Instagram at Stephen Cuba, on Facebook, Stephen Cuba, and my website, StephenDeCuba.com. Talk about personal branding. Okay. I practice what I preach. I'm not telling you this because it's cool, because it's like it looks nice on camera. No, I'm telling you everything that I know because I know it works. I know this works. And I know that this is also possible for you. All right. Thank you so much. Let me go to the chat box. I see a lot of comments going on. Natalie said, run to this guy. It has so much value. Thank you so much, Natalie. Um, a Facebook user said, where do I sign up? So go to stephendepuba.com forward slash enroll. And you will see the button. It, it, it says, claim your bonuses or join now. Or, you know, there's a call to action. Click there. It will take you to another page. This page, you can enter all your details. You can pay with credit card. You can pay with PayPal. You can um, pay online. And then you choose your payment plans or pay in full. Payment done. Immediately, I will send you a link and you will get access to the program. You can literally start right now. Like literally, you can join right now, pay, make the payment, join. And you can already start watching all the trainings. All right. StephenDecuba.com for slash enroll. Uh, reselling on Instagram. What payment options does Instagram accept for a Ruben, uh, Ruben based Instagram account? Selling on Instagram. Here's the thing. I, I don't have a um, payment plan or option on Instagram. I don't use that. And honestly, Aruba is really, really limited. So what I recommend my Ruben or Curacao people to do is to just see what works for you. You don't have to connect anything with the Instagram account. I don't do it and I'm still making sales. Um, but you can do, for example, bank transfer. Some of, I know some people even do local transfer um, or payment in cash. Or there's also this um, software that's called CX Pay that you can connect with your bank and they give you the ability to receive online payments. All right. So there are different ways that you can do it, but um, I, I, there's no, you don't need any connection with Instagram to make payments. I don't know if I answered your question. So don't worry too much about what options do I connect with Instagram for an Aruban based Instagram account. There's no such thing as an Aruban based Instagram account. I live between Aruba and Europe and there's no difference there, right? So let me know if this makes sense for you. One year beginning, uh, this is what do, what, um, when do we start? Um, we start immediately. As soon as you join, you can get started. StephenDeCuba.com forward slash enroll. You can get started immediately. I will give live trainings starting the first week of October. So you still have one week to go through the content on your, on your own. You can start applying the strategy but I will give more live trainings in the first week of October, all right? Another user said, let's do this. I love it. I'm so excited to have you part of the community. Another user said, um, dear Stephen, thank you so much for the valuable information. I need to step out another meeting till next time. Big hug, big, big hug. Thank you for being here. Can you pay by bank transfer? Um, please send me a message via Instagram at Stephen Cuba, and we can, we can see what we can make we can um, make it happen for you. 
but I don't know who you are because I can only see, see Facebook user. So can you please reach out to me and, um, and then we can make it happen? I'll, I'm more than happy to make it back, um, um, happen for you. Melanie, just bought your masterclass. Thank you. See you there. Heck yes, Melanie. Welcome to the community. I'm super excited. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh my goodness, so many thank you. Thank you, Steven. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Steven. Thank you, Steven. Thank you, Steven. Thank you. Thank you. Today has been one of the greatest days of my life because I got the opportunity to share my knowledge with you. I got the opportunity to share all the things that I have learned to grow my business online. What a blessing. What a privilege. What an honor it is to share my knowledge with you. What an honor. Uh, Elia, thank you, Stephen DeCubo, for the lesson. Awesome presentation. Thank you, Elia. Nicole, just I know, excited. Heck yes, Nicole. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love this. Oh my God. Love, love, love. Nicole, actually, I will see you tomorrow, right? I don't know if I see you today at the welcome dinner, but I'll see you tomorrow. Super excited that you're part of the, uh, of the community. Jermaine, Hopi Master. Thank you, Jermaine. Freddy, oh my goodness, Freddy. I'm so happy that you're here. And I'm so happy that I've got to give back to you after you've given so much back to me. I know Freddy. I, I call Freddy, totally putting you on the spot right now, Freddy. Freddy is my dad from the street. You know, you know, you have your dad at home, but you have the dad on the street. This is, my, this is the guy. I love Freddy so much. And I'm so excited that you are here. And I'm so excited that I can give back my knowledge to you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Much love to you. Thank you, my friends. Thank you so much for being here. It is a true honor and privilege that I get to show you what is possible when you take the action. One thing that I want to leave with you today is this. Ooh, I'm already getting the chills. I, what I've learned through all my journey of building my own business online is that it is never about having it all figured out. It is never about being ready. It is never about making the perfect decision. I am where I am because I've taken risks. I am where I am because I've made um, decisions that maybe didn't go my way. I am where I am because I fell many, many times and I've made the decision to stand back up and do it differently the next time. I'm not where I am because I've always made the perfect decision. Heck, I don't think there's anyone out there that always make the perfect decision. I don't think that's possible. I don't think that exists. What I do believe is that you get what you give. If you give whatever it takes to make it happen, I have zero doubt that, it's not, that it is going to work. If you're willing to give whatever it takes to make it happen, I believe in my core that it is also possible for you. I've been doing this for a couple of years and every time I see someone following their dream, I see one thing that I want you to avoid. I see perfectionism taking control. I see most people not doing the thing that they know will work in their business, that they know it, 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 um, it, it will take them to the next level. They don't do it because they are afraid of uh, what people will think about them or they are afraid of failure and they hide that behind. No, I'm a perfectionism. I'm not ready yet. Let me fix this first. Let me have this figure out first. Let me have more followers first. Let me get this credential first. Let me get this diploma first. This is what we call the um, um, imposter syndrome. But here's what I've learned about imposter syndrome. Real imposters don't suffer from imposter syndrome. So if right now, I'm getting the chills as I say this. If right now you're telling yourself, yeah, but I don't think I'm ready. Yeah, but I don't think I have what it takes. Yeah, but there's someone doing it better than I, I'm doing it. Well, 
what I want you to, to, to consider is that the fact that you have this feeling is because you have good intentions. Maybe it's to change the world. Maybe it's to change somebody's life. Maybe it's simply to create a life based on your, your liking, your preference. Maybe you just want to experience through time and financial freedom, but you feel you're not ready yet. You're not there yet. I want you to know that if you have this feeling, that is totally normal. It is part of the process. But the difference become is when you lead with courage. I'm not asking you to be ready. I'm not asking you to have it all figured out. Today, I'm asking you to just lead with courage. Let courage be your driving force. Let courage be the reason why you're doing the thing that you're doing. Let courage be the thing that pushes you and gets you to the next level. You don't have to have it all figured out. In fact, I don't have it all figured out. I don't. I still make mistakes. But what I do is that I always lead with courage. I always lead with humility. I always lead with, I might not know how it's going to happen. I am not know the results, but I know that I'm willing to give whatever it takes. That's what I want you to, I want to leave you with today. All right. So you might not have it all figured out. I'm not asking for that. I'm asking if you're willing to give whatever it takes to make it work. Just think about it. Where do you think your business will be 12 months from now if today you start applying something different? Where do you think your business will be 12 months from now if you start applying something that it is proven, you've seen it today, that works? Where do you think it could be? I don't know about your goal. I don't know every single one of you individually, but what I do know is that if you believe that you cannot do it, you're right. And if you believe that you can do it, you're also right. It's all, you're also right. So which one are you choosing to believe? What's your decision? I have another question here. What is your best advice when you have not exactly what business when you have not exactly what business you can or can afford, what is the best advice when you have not exactly what business? I, I don't understand that. When you have not exactly what business you can or cannot afford. I, cannot, I, I don't understand that. Can you repeat that question and write it differently? When, what is your best advice when you have not exactly what business you can or cannot afford? I don't understand that question. I'm so sorry. Can you write it again? I'm more than happy to answer any questions that you might have. All right. I'm thinking you're saying like, what was the best advice if you want to start a business that you cannot, cannot afford? I don't, I don't understand it. I'm not, I don't want to assume either. Write it differently. I'm more than happy to answer it. All right. Again, thank you so much for being here. I would love to connect with you. StephenDukubo.com forward slash um, enroll. That's where you're going to secure your spot. And if you have any questions, you want to talk with me personally, Go to Steven De Cuba on Instagram or on Facebook. It doesn't matter which where you go. Send me a message and we can talk more about it. All right. I'm more than happy to guide you through, um, along the way and answer any questions that you might have. I'm going to leave it to this. Um, do you cover every type of business like Airbnb? Um, so the Instagram Academy is focused on service-based and product-based business owners. So if you are you have a service base, which is um, Airbnb is a service base, you rent your space, it is practical for you. The idea is that we focus on building a personal brand. There are, I don't know if you're based in Aruba, there are thousands of Airbnbs in Aruba. What is going to make yours stand out? Definitely, of course, great content that shows people what they're signing up for, but also... I personally love when I travel and I stay in an Airbnb. It's kind of like I have a connection with the, with the host. Not like we're friends, 
but at least I know, okay, this is a person that I'm speaking to. This is a person that, that is owner of this place. I want to feel like I know you. And especially if your Airbnb is, for example, maybe it's a room in your house or maybe it's an apartment behind your house. You want to do, you want to rent it to people that, 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 that you trust. So when you join the Instagram Academy, I will show you different examples of different businesses that are using Instagram for, to, um, to increase brand awareness and sales conversion. And during the, the live sessions, we can even brainstorm together what else we can do for your Airbnb. All right. So that's why I also like to do the live aspect in the Instagram Academy to make sure that everyone um, can ask their specific question and we can go deeper with it. I cannot do it here because there's a lot of people, but there we can do more specific questions. Shahira says, thank you a lot. Uh, thank you again. Um, what is your best advice when you do not know what business exactly you want? And if you know, how do you know if it's affordable? Uh, I got it now. If I, I'm going to start answering this one, but I would love for you to give me um, that last piece. If you know, if you know, how do you know if it's affordable? Let me give me one example and we can talk about it. But the first part, what is your best advice when you do not know what business exactly you want? If you, and if you know, how do you know if it's what is the best advice when you know you do not know what business exactly you want? I always, the what I preach is build a business based on your passion, based on your values, and based on the thing that you are so excited to talk about. So just think about it. If I ask you, what is something that I ask you about it, and then you can start riffing without stopping? Let me give you an example. If you ask me something about wedding photography, believe me, trust me that I'm going to riff on you. I'm going to talk all day about weddings. How do I plan it? The connections between my, my audience. Um, how do I market on Instagram? The experience that I create. I can talk days about that specific topic. If you ask me about personal branding and growing a business on social media, I'm going to riff and you're going to tell me, stop talking. That is the feeling that I want you to have when you choose the thing that you want to create. So if you are a parent coach, for example, if you like kids and if you like um, unconscious parenting, for example, and maybe you have studied how the brain works as, uh, as we're a baby and we grow up and you can talk days about it. That's what I want you to do. Go all in with that. What can I explore here? What can I create? Can I create a workshop behind this? Can I create a masterclass? Can I create a group program? Different, different um, families come together and we talk about different topics. That's what I, wanna, I want you to lead with. If you are, let's say, for example, a wedding planner and you want to learn or I, I ask you, hey, can you tell me about your wedding, uh, about your wedding planning um, service? You're like, Bram, I can talk all day about it. That's what I want you to focus on. You focus on the thing you're so passionate about and then you lead from there. Why? Because I believe if you're only doing this for your for the money, Uh, I don't think it's the best idea. Why? Because, listen to this. If, not if, when business becomes difficult, if you're only doing it about the money, you're not going to get, um, you're, you're not going to be happy with what you're doing. If you are only doing it about the money, when things get difficult, it gets really scary when it's there. So I like to look at entrepreneurship just like a, um, a roller coaster. We go up, yeah, it's working, we're making money, and one day we're gonna go down. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what do I do now? And if you're not passionate about it, you're screwed because money is not coming in, which means you're not happy, which means business is going down. 
I, lay, I lead with passions and values. What am I so passionate about? I lead with that. Because when things are not working, I'm having the best time of my life. And when things are working, I'm still having the best time of my life. Let me just give you an example. When I moved to the Netherlands seven years ago, I already was a photographer, but I didn't have a wedding for, uh, uh, a portfolio in the Netherlands. I didn't have it. I, I was based in Aruba. I only had portfolio in Aruba. I went to the Netherlands and then... I told myself, okay, what can I do to build a portfolio in the Netherlands? Easy. I told myself, I'm going to do a marketing campaign. Five free photo shoots for engaged couples. I, again, thinking about my target audience. Five free photo shoots for engaged couples. I gave it away. I built my portfolio with couples in the Netherlands that are engaged they are soon going to be married. Who do you think they chose as a photographer for their wedding? Este que está acá. Me. <laughs> when I moved to Madrid, I lived in Madrid for half a year. I didn't have a portfolio in Madrid. I didn't. What did I do? I went on Instagram. I looked for the hashtag um, bodas in Madrid, weddings in Madrid. And I started looking at different vendors. What I did, I started messaging every single vendor. Listen, I'm Steven Cuba. I'm going to be here for a while. And I want to grow my business in wedding photography in Madrid. I'm willing to collaborate with you. I'm willing to give you a free photo shoot. Just let's plan something new. Let's plan something cool. And then we create content so we can promote ourselves on social media. Are you in? Are you out? I send this to five different wedding planners. The first one left me on red. The second one told me I'm too busy. The third one told me, um, what was it? She's, she wasn't in town. And the fourth one said, oh, yes. And the fourth one and the fifth one, both. Yes, I want to work with you. Let's meet. Next week happened. We met. We went for a coffee. We talked about it. Cool. Listen to this. Listen to this. I did a photo shoot with her. A magazine in Madrid saw the photo shoot. So the owner of the magazine saw the photo shoot and said, I love these photos. Can we feature them in the magazine? One of the biggest magazines in Madrid. And in, in, not in Madrid, in Spain. Because they're based in Barcelona, in Madrid, in Sevilla. They're based in different places in, 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 in Spain. From there, that magazine worked with Uinovias. Uinovias is a company that does um, hairdo and makeup for novias, for brides. They saw the photos and they got in contact with me. Stephen, we saw your photos. We want to work with you. They invited me to a workshop. I took a, photo, a workshop with different wedding vendors that does makeup and hairdo. Not once, not twice, but three days. It was a three-day workshop. After that, they said they want to do another photo shoot with me with a big brand. This is where I got featured in La Champanera, which is one of the biggest mag magazines in, in, um, in Spain, and ZenQ. ZenQ is based, the main office is based in Spain. I met the marketing manager there. And I got the opportunity to get featured there too. So let me ask you this. Did I have it all figured out? No. Did I know all those people when I just arrived to Madrid and the Netherlands? No. Did I have all the portfolio already to say, hey, this is what I can do for you? No. I just had a portfolio in Aruba. But what did I have? I had the commitment. I had the courage. I had, we say it in Spanish, and I hope there's no kids around the area, I have the cojones to go and do it. I lead the way. I believe so much in my success that I'm willing to give whatever it takes to make it happen. My question to you is, are you willing to give whatever it takes to make it happen? You already know that Instagram, social media works. In 2023 and beyond, it's just going to get bigger and better. Why would you delay this? 
why would you not give yourself the permission to go all in? Today, you have the opportunity to do that. Today, I want to invite you to join the Instagram Academy by going to stephendecuba.com forward slash enroll. And then if in 30 days it doesn't work, hey, no problem. I'll give you your money back. There's no risk. <laughs> Someone said, you just flip my mind, Stephen. You answer my question and you just gave me the boost that I needed to take the courage to make my business. Heck yes, that's the goal. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I don't know, I don't. I, I cannot see, um, uh, I cannot, cannot see your name, but I'm so excited for you. I was super, super excited. Someone says, bolas criollas. <laughs> I love it. Jermaine said, nice, I love it. I love your story. Another Facebook user said, super, super, super answer. Another one said, thank you, thank you, Stephen. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It is an honor, it is a privilege. Thank you so, 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 so much. If there's still doubt in you right now, you have some time. I'm actually going to close the enrollment of the Instagram Academy after next week. So I'm going to be promoting for about a week and a half, almost two weeks, but you have a deadline. And I will communicate the deadline with you via email. All right? So make sure you keep on watching your emails. I'm also going to send you a um, the marketing bundle as a bonus. But you have time to think about it. If you're just ready to join, if you're the first 10 people that join, you get extra perks. But if you need some time, take your time. But I will remind you via email when is the deadline. All right? So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a beautiful day. It's almost the weekend. Please stay safe, stay well, and much love to you. Peace. Ciao, ciao. Have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for being here. I am living my best life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ciao, ciao.